Hi! This short video is going to cover how you create calendars in Scoreboard or QuickScore. You've been given a login name and a password. So you log into the application and the first screen that you see is the My Bookmark screen. Later on, once you have your scorecards and action plans and dashboards built, you'll be able to bookmark them to this screen so that you can see them when you log in. In the upper left hand corner is the selector for the modules in the application. The calendars are set up in the administration module. So I click on the administration module then I say I would like to create calendars. You can create two kinds of calendars, a standard calendar or a custom calendar. Standard calendars are days, weeks, months, quarters, years. When we talk about a calendar, what we're talking about is how frequently you look at your KPIs or performance measures, how frequently you report them. But in this case, we're going to look at a monthly KPI or performance measure. So I click monthly, finished, and it creates my calendar. This calendar may not go as far back in time as you have data that you would like to import into the application. So you simply click new calendar period and then enter the date to which you'd like to extend the calendar and the application automatically extends the calendar. It's exactly the same for each kind of standard calendar. You create the calendar and then you extend it to wherever you have data historically. Finally, I'm going to create a yearly calendar. That's it. That's how easy it is to create standard calendars. The next thing we're going to learn how to do is create custom calendars. A custom calendar is most often used to create fiscal calendars. So we're going to create a custom calendar for U.S. Federal Fiscal Quarters. As you can see now, we have a new calendar name and we have to create each one of the periods. So Q1 of 2010 began on October 1st, 2009 and ended on December 31st, 2009. You'll see that when I start to create the next period, it remembers when the last period ended. So Q2, 2010, and you can also use the calendar widget if you don't want to do the typing. And that's it. That's all there is to creating calendars. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to create scorecards manually. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have fun creating calendars.